Do you wanna take complete control of your financial future and know that you are doing it right? Don't fall into the same mistakes made by many people who have the wrong plan because it can have lifelong consequences. Surveys indicate that about 60% of people say they do not have enough money for retirement, and maybe worse, 56% say they do not have enough saved to cover a $1,000 emergency. This is a big problem. In this video, I'll explain why Dave Ramsey's baby steps work and break down each of the seven baby steps so you can better understand how to improve your own financial future and ensure success. These are taken straight from Dave Ramsey's book, Total Money Makeover, and the link will be in the description below. If you haven't read that book yet, it is an outright personal finance life changer and I highly recommend it. Let's start with the first baby step, which is to save $1,000 for an emergency fund. Dave advises everyone to do this. While starting your financial path, there will inevitably be some problem, a medical emergency, a little payment or expense that you didn't anticipate. For this reason, Dave advises everyone to save $1,000 for an emergency fund. Put it in a separate account. Step two, pay off all your debts other than your mortgage. Okay, so this includes all credit cards and other debts you may have. Do you owe your uncle some money? Pay it off now. At this point, it is critically important to understand the difference between the debt snowball versus debt avalanche, and Dave recommends using the debt snowball. Here's the difference. The debt avalanche method involves making minimum payments on all debt, then using any extra funds to pay off the debt with the highest interest rate. The debt snowball method involves making minimum payments on all debt, then paying off the smallest debts first before moving on to bigger ones. I agree with Dave that the debt snowball psychologically works better than a debt avalanche. I highly recommend that you guys take this seriously because this is actually the first step to your financial freedom. Baby step three, put three to six months of living expenses in your emergency fund. If you and your family or partner's monthly expenses are $2,000, you need to save six to $12,000. What if one of you becomes ill or loses their job or has a medical issue and there is no income coming in? This fund will allow you to live three to six months stress-free while you're getting back on your feet or trying to get healthy. Your emergency fund should be in a savings, checking, or money market account so you can easily access the cash in an emergency. I went even further in my life and have one year of living expenses saved up. This makes me feel incredibly at ease. I no longer have that nervous feeling in my stomach that I could go broke if something unexpected happens. Baby step four is to invest 15% of your household income into some sort of pre-tax or tax advantage account, like a Roth IRA, regular IRA, or an employer's match in a 401k. Personally, I recommend you put as much in a Roth IRA as possible. You have an option to convert money that is, that is in a normal IRA or 401k into a Roth IRA, so long as you pay the taxes, and I believe this is a good idea. You want your money to enjoy compound growth during your life that will not be taxed when you retire. I talked to a man once who had a million dollars saved in his 401k. I said, that must feel great. His response, sort of, but about $300,000 of that belongs to the IRS. With a Roth IRA, you are compounding your money for you and you alone, not the IRS. Baby step five is funding your kid's college education. If you don't plan on having kids, why not fund your niece's or nephew's college tuition? This money could be used to change someone's life. So if you don't plan to have children of your own, you can still do number five. The college fund could be something tax advantaged like a 529 plan. There are multiple educational funds out there that offer financial advantages. I know it might sound strange to save for someone else's college fund if you do not have kids, but trust me, doing something selfless with your earnings will make you feel amazing. It really is a superpower. Baby step number six, pay off your mortgage early. Now, a lot of people might say, well, my mortgage rate is very low. I can get better returns in the stock market or in commercial real estate or private lending. In other words, if you have a 3% mortgage and can get a 7% return in the market, why pay off the mortgage? If mathematically it makes sense to not pay off your home early, if your investment returns are higher than your mortgage rate, that may sound fine, but in my opinion, it only makes sense on a spreadsheet, not in real life. 
From a peace of mind standpoint, I'm with Dave on this one. In my opinion, paying off your primary residence, the place where you live and are raising a family, gives you an enormous sense of safety that you can't quantify on a spreadsheet. Often, people that pay off their homes feel much more secure. So much so they actually feel empowered to change careers to something they love to do or take more time off and travel. Baby step number seven, and this one is amazing, is giving. This is when your wealth has increased to a level where you are more secure. You have that emergency fund and your home is paid off. It's when you build wealth and give much of it away. Trust me, this is an amazing feeling. It may sound corny or cheesy or cliche, but you will feel absolutely tremendous when you give to others and help them. You can give to a local charity, fund someone's college education, or give back to your religious organization if you have one. Why do I think Dave Ramsey's baby steps work? Well, because it stresses the importance of getting out of debt and having a large cash reserve. Remember, the borrower is the slave to the lender. When you don't owe anything to anybody, it not only clears your mind and conscience, conscience. It allows you to create a plan for moving forward and doing new things in life that you are passionate about. Everything is easier when you have no debt. You can take all the money you are putting towards debt and use it to leverage the life of your dreams. At that point, you no longer have that knot or nervous feeling in your stomach. It is a superpower to be debt free. I appreciate it if you stuck with me until this point. As I said before, it is my promise to you that if you give me 10 minutes a day, I will make you richer one sketch at a time. If you haven't already, please click on the link in the description to get the book. If you do, I truly believe it will change your life. Follow these seven steps. They are a useful framework to help you live a fulfilling and prosperous life. Thank you so much. If this video was valuable to you, please share it with your friends and family. Also, please like and subscribe.